Hey guys, what's going on? Sigak here, back from a really redstone, and I just screwed up on a recording really bad. Um, somehow my microphone got turned off on the audio, and didn't get any audio. No idea why it got turned off. But I'm going to give another go recording. That's the last recording over there. So what we're doing today is we make a 50-50 chance thing in redstone. So you'll have a 50-50 chance when you press this button to get one thing or another. So, let's go right ahead and I'm going to wire this one right here. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I'll do it here. Cause that's cool. So, let's just put this down so we can put redstone here. Oh, crap. So, yeah, I really, really failed last time anyway on some stuff. Well, like, accidentally igniting TNT in the middle of the project, so. But that's alright. Trial and error is going to die, pig. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is making some AND gates. I don't think I've done a tutorial on these really specifically. Oh, I might need to watch a tutorial myself. I keep failing here. Yeah, this pig has got to go. I'm not getting sound still for some reason. Sometimes Minecraft doesn't want to have sound. Anyways, so we're going to make a couple of AND gates here. And basically all these are, if you have not seen what these are, it's basically like, you can see when I push these buttons, these torch, this torch, these torch, that torch there will go off. And how this will essentially work is, see now these have turned off, and if this one turns off also, then that one will come on. So if these both go off, these, this one and this one, then that one comes on. Very simple. That's not how we're going to do this one here, so let's go ahead, and that's right, okay. So basically when we press this button, those both are going to go off. Now we're going to wire the output of this one here to some delicious TNT. I'm going to go ahead gonna go ahead and throw a repeater in there just in case. This is actually a lot more organized than my last video turned out anyway, so it's probably a good thing I'm doing this. My last one was kind of a mess. Alright, now we're going to wire up something very, very simple. And that is a clock. Or what have you. Whatever you call this. And all this is gonna do, actually I can't do it this way. Is going to this is going to spin constantly, so set these all on max delay. And you can do smaller clock or bigger clock. That's yeah, whatever you really want. So I'm going to wire this one here. And I'm going to wire this one to the back here. And then we got to get some power on these. So go ahead and fill those in. Then. Okay. So what we want here is when this one goes off, this one to go on. And this one goes off, this one to go on. I've not done it well, so. Let me give this another go. Alright. That's perfect. Great. So, now you can see these are flickering back and forth. And you can kind of get what's going to happen. So basically, when I press this button here, if this torch is off, this torch will go off also, and this will come on. Thus, powering our TNT. Now, we are going to have a little fun today. And let's just say... Oops. Let's go ahead and run some out here to our friend who has kindly volunteered to do this test with us. He's a very good guy. So, now we're going to pretend I can't see that clock back there. Because if I can see this clock, then I can really time it out and get whatever I want. I might as well actually just throw a wall right here just in case. Just so, you know, I can't even, I don't even know what's going on back there right now. So, la 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 la, I'm not keeping track of it or anything. So, either that TNT there is going to go off, or our friend's going to get blown. So, let's press the button. Thank you for volunteering, kind sir. Boom. Oh, look how high his body flew. That was awesome. So, as you can see, 50-50 chance. That's what happened. Now, just to give you a better little, a little easier to see here, we'll go ahead and wire this a little wire out here. And put some torches up. So we'll click this button again. That one decided to go off again. Again. Two. Wait a second. Let's lay that up. Dang it. There we go. That one went off that time. Let's see if this one goes off. Nope. There we go. See? It's so it's just 50 50 chance because if the this one's getting power back here. Now you gotta make sure the important part is that the person pressed this button can't see it. Otherwise they can just watch, wait for it to do the right one. So if I know this one's gonna power this side, then I'm gonna wait till the power gets there. And then press the button. 
But that's it, guys. That was just a little problem I came across today when I was building something that I needed to do that. And I didn't know how. So I just kind of started putting this together. And I thought this was a pretty simple way so even a person that's really bad at redstone can figure this out. So, guys, thank you all for watching. This has been really redstone with Nick Knack. I hope you have enjoyed and this has helped you. And I will see you next time. Bye!